Yes. So I want to talk to you today about performance. Why React and performance? It's uh, well, React is generally very fast, but you know, depending on what type of app you are building, you might still hit its performance limits, uh, especially if you are, your DOM uh, is very complex. If you are trying to fit into one one frame into 16 milliseconds, or if you are supporting mobile browsers. And the problem I see is that there are not really many advanced articles explaining how the internals of React really works and how you can optimize your apps uh, above you know, the basic stuff like should component update or using immutable, what we've heard about uh, a lot today. There are some very mm, smart people on the internet uh, building different benchmarks, trying to understand uh, in which scenarios React is really fast and which, uh, in which it's not that, that fast. One of them is Paul Lewis from uh, Google. He, he built this um, benchmark where, where he tried to see you know, how is the app fast based on how many um, DOM elements you are rendering. But then you have some you know, other very smart people from the React core team saying it, okay, so, but this is not the use case we are, we are really optimizing for. This is not we really care. So I was like thinking, okay, so what does this all mean? What is React really optimized for? And how do we solve the other use cases? One really insightful post was uh, by Ben Alpert um, explaining that React right now is really optimized for initial page rendering and for creating abstractions without you know, too much overhead. What it's not optimized so far is for rendering long lists of items. And the reason for this is that uh, if you have long list of items, you can do something like pagination or infinite scroll, and it's not your problem anymore. But uh, so how does this look like in real life? We are building this app where you know, we, are, we are having this problem. We have a lot of um, rows. So, you know, these are like features, um, and you can have like um, 200 of them or 400 of them, and you have different like visualizations saying, okay, uh, how much this feature impacts different business metrics. So it's like this big dashboard, but the problem we have is that we cannot really um, infinite scroll it because we are not able to render the lines fast enough so you could get uh, smooth scrolling. So we had to try to optimize this in a different way, try to look into the re React source code and try to understand what are the all other dirty tricks we can do to um, optimize our app. We are obviously using um, should component updates and Im immutable where it's possible, but that was not enough for us. So today I want to share three tricks that helped us to make it faster, even though we are not using infinite scrolling. Um, First of them is trying to limit um, reconciliation as much as possible. There is one example I want to pinpoint here is that this is how our components looked at the beginning. You know, this is a simple, for example, like table component that, that's rendering a list of rows. But the problem here is this part, which is like a static uh, HTML that gets re-rendered every time some, some of the children gets re-rendered. So it, it, it will get reconciled, and that costs you precious time. Uh, so you need to avoid this as much as possible. And one trick is you can, you can make small, more granular components and do should component update there, so it, it will get skipped. But the other trick, what you can do is use um, Babel um, optimization called um, in, um, constant elements, which comes uh, with Babel uh, 5.18, I think, and React um, 14, which in compile phase takes your static HTML and you know, puts it somewhere else so it's not uh, being evaluated every time and actually skips the reconciliation phase for you. So this was very helpful. Uh, another trick is that uh, today you've seen probably several times that there is a, it's a good design decision to try to uh, take all the data you have in your state and send it through the um, component hierarchy through props. And uh, one of the tricks we used is that we skipped this um, and we are doing it in, uh, instead down in the latest component, you know, in the, down in the tree, which uh, helped us 
um, around like 20% improve the performance. And there is explanation for this, and that is um, even though if you have implemented should component update, the component tree still needs to be created, and it takes a lot of time and uh, memory. And the last, last trick is using uh, just pure JavaScript, avoid React uh, completely for things like animations. That's it. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you so much.